Alrighty guys, welcome back. Continue the Ena mod. Today's faction is Rohan. So these are actually my third probably my second favourite human faction. Right, it was three though, so you something will really have to be. My first choice was Arnor, so that um That one there, let's so build some more farms. They should be in the way now. Not farms, but. Building? Building. This one is finished. Clear the land. Quick. We got work to do. So, I think I might have mentioned this before, but in case I haven't, I'm just going to let you guys know now. Um, The way I've done it, I was going to do good, evil, good, evil, good, evil, like that. But there are two, there's two more good factions than there are evil ones. So it's going to go good, evil, good, even the last one's going to be good, good. So that's just how it's worked out, I'm afraid. Because I'll take this one mood on my favourite faction of all of them, which is Mordor. So I'm looking forward to that. Are you looking forward to that? I'm stoked. Where are we building? As you know, when I start off, I just like to build the structure, structure building, structure buildings. Yes, that's what they're called. Hold on. Um. This structure's ready. Some resource building structures, just because. Obviously, one thing new. I've, I've said it, so we, I start off with four thousand. But I'm just sort of doing this to get some more resources going, and just gonna get some basic. Your basic units, believe it or not, are peasants. These are the yeomen. They're like your basic archers. And they're speaking in German because I said this is a German mod. How they look there. Haltet eure Bögen bereit. Ah, bereit. There's some more of them. I love how they don't come out there, just half them run around in the Es könnten Orks in der Nähe sein. Yes. Oh, peasants take for ages. I'm going to use one power. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I won't use it because I actually don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay. Alright. I'm versing Isengard, but it'll be quite Let's get working. the proper enemy to verse. The enemy is near. We can use the weapon behind. Here is Lang Freisassen. We've improved the archery range. Come, peasants. We must rise up and fight. And they've got hammers, pitchforks, and the farms are under attack. Is that all? But one had a ladle. Nope, toes two times hammers. Cute. Raise your weapon. We'll do everything we can. Hit the enemy! Take cover, man! Pew pew pew. Kill them. Seid tapfer, Freisassen. Ja. So you get one, two, three, four, four different cavalry, which I love. So. I've actually played. I have actually played much as the um E Dane Rohan faction. I probably should have. Oh well. So I'm just gonna. I'll do my thing of zipping ahead and 
I'll keep playing, then I'll zip you guys ahead and to catch me up. See you in a sec. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So, just tell you, I built up a bit of a base here. Just going over the buildings quickly. This is the farm, same as the Elven farm and the Elven farm, Gondor farm and all that. It just builds resources. All that jazz right there. This is the blacksmith of a smithy. Upgrades, banner carriers, forge blades, heavy armor, like that. Archery range, is my barracks I should say. Sorry, it's not with the archery range, but they changes the barracks. Get yeomen and spearmen. This is the stables. You get spearmen, axemen, bowmen, and then proper... There's clinic garden, I think. It's the royal guard, so... Uh, that. Um, some arrows, just place these around just to protect the perimeter. And this inn that I've done here. Just some more fun meritorious. Here is a fountain of healing. Units who stand in it will heal, and any units that I lost from my squad will. Oh, that's the word I'm after. Will revive. So if I stand there a while and they're not in combat, the squad will slowly revive. And it's just a horseman statue. And that just gives a bit of a a leadership bonus to units who are standing near it. So, on to the actual units. Back here we have the Yeoman Archers. These are your basic archers. You can see we can give them flaming arrows and heavy armor, so I'll go ahead and do that. Here are the Rohan Spearmen. These are your... Oh. I was going to say, these are your Spearmen, but that was quite obvious. Um, yeah, they're your basic yeah, pikemen, if you will. Here we have Rohirrim right spearmen. And yeah, they're, just, they're, they're good, I think, as most characters they would get to pikemen. Here we have the Rohirrim archers. Some idea, but they've got bows instead. We've got bows instead of spears, pretty much. Here we have through here in axe riders, they're just like through here and they've got axe, so I don't think there actually is much difference between them. I think because they want to change it up a little bit. And here we have the Rohirrim royal royal guardsmen, and they are on horseback and they are looking pretty fancy schmancy in their armor. Oh, but imagine these are the peasants. These are your basic, basic, basic unit because you can spawn them. From your farms, and um, once you do that, you can get this power here, which is here, Shasen, and it, it gives peasants a bit of a boost and gives them you know, a bit of armor and weapons to fight and all that. So, that's so yeah, that's a nice little feature that's actually from the original Battle for Middle Earth, so that's quite a nice one they brought back. And here we have the Rohan trebuchet, and they don't have trebuchet as well, and this they do, so get used to it. And see, they just made it a bit darker grey, I guess. But yeah, nothing real fancy, but yeah, just, I like it. It's a nice idea. So I think that's really everything in regards to units. Now, this is just some more spearmen, and that I just have sitting down here. And I've just captured this little inn here. That worked too. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm going to pause it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for part 2. And as you know, part 2, I go over the heroes and the fortress abilities. So yeah, and I have to remember, just quickly while I've got you, I have been forgetting to go over the heroes and units of the inn, like the, your ally units, because every faction has a different lot. You always get the blue wizards are always going to be there, but everything else, every other faction has different ally units. And I keep forgetting to mention that to you guys, so I'll probably, instead of just doing it, to, instead of trying to squeeze it into the other episodes, because obviously I haven't done it, I'm just going to like do some separate episodes maybe, so I'll go through, say, three factions at a time, so that make an episode three factions at a time, and just show off their um ally units and heroes. I might just do that, that might be fun. So, I'm going to pause it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.